This is a play along video for the song called Climbing the Mountain. It's in Mark O'Connor's Violin Method Book One on page 28 and 29. And this is a great song to practice reading the notes on the G string. There's a couple of things to note here. One thing is the dynamics. You'll see sometimes there's a letter F underneath a measure, and that means forte, which means to play loudly. And then in the second line, there's a letter P, which means piano, or quietly, softly. Also, there are what's called crescendos, and it goes from P, quiet, and it builds slowly and gradually up to F forte, and then a decrescendo, it goes back down the other way. So you're, you're going quiet to loud and loud to soft. I'm going to just go ahead and play this song. If you have the music and you want to, you can try playing along. I'm just going to play it once for you to start. Key of G major, so one sharp, F sharp. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> So you notice there's some lines are loud, some lines are quiet, and then there's the climbing the mountain feel where you kind of build from quiet to loud. So pay attention to those dynamics. Also, at the end of the uh, each line, there's these notes that are really short. So you can just practice your really short bowing like that, where there's the dot and then the line underneath the note. That means to play it really short and separated. So practice that on an open G for a moment there. Just really short notes where you just kind of flick your bow on them. I'm going to play through the whole thing again. And this time, if you didn't play along the first time, play along this time. All right, ready? One, two, ready, go. <laughs> For forte, for playing loud, you can play right in the middle between the bridge and the fingerboard, so right in that sweet spot, and make sure that you have all the hairs touching the, touching the string, all the hairs from your bow. You can use more bow, and you can
can move it faster. So practice some loud notes on an open G. And now here's a tip for uh, how to play soft. You can angle the bow so that you're not touching the string with all the hairs. You can tilt it so that it's a little, let me see if I can see that. So it's a little bit sideways, right, rather than straight. So all the hairs, you can turn it a little bit so it's not all the hairs. And then come up a little bit toward the fingerboard. Use less bow and just push a little lighter. So let's practice some forte notes and some piano notes. All right, let's play it all together one more time. Climbing the mountain. Da, 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 da. One, two, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> So as you're warming up for this song and practicing it, you can practice your G major scale too. Only one sharp, F sharp. So if you play the second octave, you have low two. So you go G, A, B, C natural. G natural as well on the E string. So remember that your natural notes, they're, they're touching like that. So you go. Two octave G major scale, quarter notes. Ready? Play with me. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Feel free to get in touch if you have any questions. Climb in the Mountain by Mark O'Connor.